sex trafficking ring just got busted. And this time it is Abercrombie and Fitch. And it only takes like three minutes on Wikipedia to realize that this is connected directly to Jeffrey Epstein. Hence the Epstein Network shirt. So the former Abercrombie CEO, Mike Jeffries, was just charged with sex trafficking and interstate prostitution. And the article is basically just all summer what is described in this 10 page indictment that was just filed. It names three co-conspirators, Jeffries, the ex-CEO of Abercrombie, his gay lover, who I think is his husband or partner for a long time, and then one other man that was like their senior manager of this trafficking operation. And real quick, a funny tidbit, that third guy whose name is James T. Jacobson, I assume it's Todd, he's also known as Jim Jake or Mrs. Cook or Todd. I wonder why they're calling him Mrs. Cook, giving shades of Diddy right now. But anyways, basically, it's an international sex trafficking and prostitution business where they were using the modeling arm of Abercrombie and Fitch to trick young men into basically saying, we'll give you a job if you, you know, do a little diddling. And then they would fly the good ones out to sex events all around the world um, and they would say that that could yield modeling opportunities with Abercrombie or otherwise, their ben or otherwise benefit their careers. But they also threatened that if you didn't comply and go to these sex events, then you wouldn't get modeling opportunities and it would harm your career and you would be blacklisted from the industry. But anyways, the Jeffrey Epstein connection. I put all these notes directly into my Jeffrey Epstein note file because the connection is right there. Because in 1988, Abercrombie & Fitch was bought by The Limited, now known as L Brands, the company that owns Victoria's Secret. And then they put Jeffries in charge basically right after. He was their guy. And if you're not familiar with The Limited, that is Leslie Wexner's brand directly. We'll get to the Jeffrey Epstein stuff here in just a second. So if you're a millennial and you remember going to the mall to hang out with your friends and Hollister and Abercrombie were right across from each other, that was the same company on both sides there. And both were literally running a giant sexual trafficking ring. On behalf of Leslie Wexner, who put the dude in, like the dude who's just been charged was his guy who he put in as CEO. Leslie Wexner was Jeffrey Epstein's boy. They were tied at the hip. That means that Les Wexner, the owner of Victoria's Secret and all of L Brands, including Abercrombie and Fitch, gave Jeffrey Epstein complete power over every single asset in his life. All of his billions of dollars, Jeffrey Epstein was allowed to send as much money as he wanted anywhere that he wanted at any time without Leslie's oversight. He could open companies in Leslie's name. He could sell companies in Leslie's name. He had complete control over everything Leslie owned if he wanted to exercise it, okay? And to be clear, this was a Mossad operation. This was an Israeli operation, just to be clear. Anyone who's still trying to argue that has clearly not done their research, and we can talk about that another time. I mean, for starters, right here in my screenshot, we've also got Ehud Barak, one of his other good buddies, who was his Israeli handler back in the days when he was trafficking weapons for on behalf of Israel. Got That's when he went from banking into trafficking weapons, into trafficking young women and boys. So, like, Ehud Barak, the ex-prime minister of Israel, at the time he was the head of Israeli intelligence. So, anyways, a little bit more about Leslie Wexner, who owns Victoria's Secret, L Brands, and Abercrombie and & Fitch, who put this guy in, and his demon self-proclaimed demon possession. Because although they, I mean, they skim right over all the Jeffrey Epstein stuff on his Wikipedia page, but they at least mention this New York Magazine profile in 1985 where he talked about being possessed by a D-book or however you say it in Yiddish, I don't know. The Wikipedia page is okay, but Whitney Webb did a way better job on this one. It's one of my favorite chapters from One Nation Under Blackmail Volume 2. The dark side of Wexner's philanthropy, Wexner and his D-book. And Wexner self-identified. He like was telling the story of how he was possessed by this D-book spirit that drove him to success. But a D-book in like Yiddish folklore, as defined by Encyclopedia Britannica, a D-book is a Jewish folklore term for a disembodied human spirit that because of former sins, wanders restlessly until it finds a haven in the body of a living person. Unlike spirits that have yet to move on, but possess positive qualities, such as the Magid or Ibur, the D-Book is almost always considered to be malicious, which leads it to be translated in English as demon. 
all kinds of other interesting bits here. So anyways, one of the most powerful Jewish philanthropists in the world who was extremely tied to Israel, who found basically founded what became Birthright Israel, as well as so many other pieces of like pro-Israel philanthropy, he funded and put together the Jeffrey Epstein sex trafficking network and then basically helped like gave Jeff Epstein everything he needed to manage it and to operate that. But not only that, he also, in addition to owning Victoria's Secret, I'm sure there's lots more to come out there, he also bought Abercrombie & Fitch and installed his guy in charge of Abercrombie & Fitch. And that guy just got indicted for running his own interstate sex trafficking and prostitution ring. This one focused on young men. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention that when Jeffries took over in 1990s, he specifically refocused the brand on the teen customer. He rebranded Abercrombie and & Fitch and founded Hollister in order to target teen boys and girls. Remember, these are some of the biggest companies in the world. They're right there in your shopping malls. They're right there in your daily lives. They are operating sex trafficking rings. What do you think that means about all the other suspicious stuff we see, all the other conspiracy theories? You might want to start rethinking your worldview a little bit. Did you know that Taylor Swift was a model for Abercrombie and Fitch before she became famous? You know this Taylor Swift? I'm sure that's not ironic. Not just Taylor Swift, right? But Jamie Dornan, Channy Tatum, Olivia Wilde, Jennifer Lawrence, there's many more. And like it says here, stores did not sell clothes for women larger than a US size 10 until 2014 after Mr. Jeffries had left the company. You know the former CEO of Abercrombie and Fitch, which has been arrested on sex trafficking and interstate prostitution charges? And did you know, right, that Jeffries ran the company from 1992 to 2014 as the CEO and chairman? And did you actually know that Jeffries was hired in 1992 by Les Wexner? The CEO of L Brands then named the Limited to invigorate Abercrombie and Fitch? And did you know that that was the same Les Wexner, right, that allegedly for decades was Epstein's only publicly named client as a financial advisor? And the billionaire appears to be a key source of the $500 million fortune that Epstein left behind when he died in 2019. So how many people really knew about what was going on? I mean, these charges in themselves, right, allege that Jeffrey and his two associates organized in quotation sex events in England, France, Italy, Morocco, St. Bart's, and even New York. And allegedly in quotations, they employed coercive, fraudulent, and deceptive tactics in connection with the recruitment, hiring, transportation, obtaining, maintaining, solicitation, and payment of the men to engage in commercial sex alone. And the men that apparently attended the events allegedly were led to believe that it could lead to modeling opportunities or help their careers or in quotations that not complying with requests for certain acts during the sex events could harm their careers. And they were even required to sign non-disclosure agreements and surrender their wallets and cell phones during the events. But the really interesting part is how many friends, especially in the fashion industry, that Mike Jeffries had. I mean, did you know that disgraced modeling agent and Jeffrey Epstein associate Jean-Luc Brunel, right, died by suicide in his prison cell in 2022? In December of 2020, Brunel was charged with rapes of minors over the age of 15 and sexual harassment, a crime in France. And wait a minute, where was one of the alleged locations of where Jeffries and his two associates apparently organized in quotation sex events at? Huh. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, huh? Not that people should really be surprised, but this entire situation goes pretty damn deep, I'd say. Which are the true Hebrew names of the Most High Father, which is Yahweh, which is Hebrew for He is, and His only begotten Son, whose true Hebrew name is Yahweh Shai, which is Hebrew for He is salvation, He delivers. Double honors my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect with the house of David reborn again in this generation. And shalom to the 130 Yahshua who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage were known as and still are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about the rising up of the people against Edom. So the videos we just watched are covering the latest perversion of Esau's system that he has set up. Now, ultimately, both of these videos all tie back to Amalek. Who is Amalek? Well, you're seeing two of them right here. These are two so-called Jewish men who are currently setting up laws, like it tells you here, it says, Garland and Mayorkas warn white supremacy is now top security threat in the country. And you see, 
what these men are doing is trying to insulate themselves or protect themselves I should say against the coming onslaught of the rising up of the people because you see the Lord is starting to reveal Esau for what they're doing now here's the caveat about that these devils at the top they've forsaken their own people because again the so-called Caucasian you know the American Caucasian you European Caucasians, Australian Caucasians, Canadians, and so on, along with the Israeli, they are all the biblical Edomites, right? They all descend from Esau, who is Jacob's evil twin brother. Now, you remember, Esau was Cain in the reincarnation, who, and what did Cain do? Well, he killed his brother. That being said, when you take that spirit that was in Cain and you condense it and you amplify it, you get Esau, okay? Because again, more through generations and through coming in and out of, of this world, the spirit only gets more, I guess you'd say, refined, okay? And that's what Esau is. Esau is basically Cain's spirit perfected, okay? And this is these are the people who have that same spirit in them. So what are they doing? Well, they are trying to kill their own brothers, right? That being their own Edomite brothers, okay? This is why the so-called Israelis, right, who are biblically known as the Amalekite Edomites, are fighting and trying to kill off the rest of their brother in Edomites, that being the so-called Caucasian Edomites, okay? And what we just watched, like I said in those videos, are basically Amalek's schemes to blackmail and, you know, pretty much it's a Mossad operation, okay? And what this is doing, it's revealing all the agents that Amalek uses, including his own brothers, these Caucasian Edomites, to perform his tasks. Now, what that's causing is causing a lot of trouble for these Edomites, right? Because one, these Amalekites can't hide themselves anymore, right? And it's obvious that they're gonna try to break the law to, to, to try to protect themselves against what's coming. And on the Caucasian Edomite side, they're being upset because for the most part, they're being screwed over, right? Just like the rest of us, right? So welcome to the party, Esau. This is what, what uh, we've had to deal with before. But let's read this. This is uh, Job 20 and 27. The heavens shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. And that's what's going on right now. The satellites and all the broadcasting that's going around the world, going up into these into space and coming and being beamed back down is showing videos like we just watched, along with many other videos, which I have thousands of examples, and I'm sure you all can have seen plenty out there too, but we just can't post it here, right? And besides, really, I don't really need to show you. It's 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 out there, right? It is being made public. The earth is, is throwing vile abomination, right? Filthy abomination upon these Edomites, and they are being greatly despised, right? What does it tell you? Obadiah 1 and 2. Behold, I have made thee small amongst the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. If you know about the book of Obadiah, this is squarely directed towards the Edomites. This is the Lord's message to the Edomites of the world, the so-called Caucasian and Israelis and anybody whose father's lineage goes back to that bloodline. Okay? Because why? Well, because this is the end of the Edomite empire which we're living through. Yes, these devils are trying to, to, to scurry around and trying to save their empire by initiating the new world order and whatnot and you know they're going to try to initiate this mark of the beast rfid biometric tracking system they're you know they're trying to solidify their eternal rule but it's not going to work it's over for them right they they, they are dead men walking and they don't know it yet right because why because the lord has their days numbered as it tells us and what does the lord prescribe to these edomites now that he's going to take them down well let's read it this is Job 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the laborers shall come upon him. Now, I said laborers here because when you look at the word behind this, right, in the, in the uh, blue letter Bible, it literally means the laborers. And why it says here wicked is because ultimately the people who are going to be doing it, this out of the laborers, right, the lower rungs of society that these Edomites have have ruled over, reigned over since the time of the Renaissance. 
these are the two thirds that are going to rise up. These are the people who don't have the Lord on their side, right? And henceforth, the Lord's going to use these two thirds as a as a weapon against these Edomites, okay? And what he and while he's doing that. He's going to shield and protect the one-third of the Israelites, those who have woken up in this time, right? Those who have returned back to the Lord and are following His ways, coming back to the laws and seeking that which is pleasing unto the Lord, right? So this is why a message to all you Akium and Akwathium out there watching this lesson, we are not to get involved in the, the coming riots and the coming martial law events and the coming... You know rising up against these devils you are not to be involved in any of that and why is that well because you do not want to partake in the the punishment which is going to ultimately come upon these edomites but also the that which is going to be laid upon them by the hands of, of the two-thirds because why because those two-thirds aren't going to have a happy ending okay the lord's going to basically use them as cannon fodder Okay, he's going to use them to come up against Esau, but Esau, being a, a, a cunning hunter, he's going to go ahead and strike back. He's going to take out a lot of these people, right? Just look at what happened during the uh, during the uh, the Nazi uh, rising up over there in Germany, right? They they took out a lot of people that rose up against the you know the so-called Nazi movement. Okay, and that's the same thing that's going to happen over here. Right? They're, they're going to basically put people in camps and they're going to you know, arrest people. They're going to lock people down. But those are going to be the people who are going to be out there at these Antifa marches, the you know, Senate you know, invading and all, you know, all that bullshit that, that Esau is trying to rouse the people up so he could bring in martial law. So we are not to be involved in any of that. Right? It is our job simply to watch and, and observe and, and, and make inquisitions and reveal these devils, right? If you want to do something, you make videos and you expose the devil, right? It is not our job to meet out any sort of re re revenge or punishment. That's the Lord's job, okay? We are simply here being te being witnesses, okay? Being witnesses to Esau's wickedness. And, we, and the thing is, is it's already starting to happen. This scripture right here, let's watch. Zionist terrorist soldier killed a Palestinian girl and her brother with bullets in Gaza in front of her parents and now she works as a YouTuber and films videos from the markets in Morocco. Shouldn't be proud. Shouldn't be ashamed of 
sir. Hey, why don't you go to Jabalia? Go to Jabalia. Why don't you go to Jabalia? Sir, why do you keep making movements and giggling, sir? We're zoomed in on Mr. Mr. IDF. Because he's a baby war He's a baby Put a red triangle on top of his head. What happened to the happy guy? Now he's mad. Maybe he's not. Who are you looking for? Where are you looking? Who's going to help? He, he, he didn't think to you. Who's going to help? You should have said free Palestine. You should have said, where are you going, man? Where are you going? Where are you going? Say free Palestine, we'll go. Say free Palestine, we'll go. Say free Palestine, we'll go. Say free Palestine, bro. Say free Palestine, bro. Say free Palestine, bro. We're going to be here until the Zerg comes. Sir, can we get a stand? Viva! Viva Palestina! Don't open your mouth next time. He thinks he's in Beverly Hills. That's what it is. He thinks, he thinks Beverly Hills is Israel. He thinks Beverly Hills is Israel. That's what he thinks. He thinks, let's go to Los Angeles and talk our sh. Put your diapers back on. Put your diaper back on. You gotta put your diapers back on. Put your diaper on. Put your diaper on, boy. Put that diaper on, boy. Second Thessalonians 2 and 3 Let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition We just keep, we're coming out of the falling away the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and all those whose father's lineage goes back to that bloodline are starting to wake up and understand that they are Israelites the true biblical Israelites by heritage and that this isn't a religion it is a heritage and what's happening right now is that that man of sin the wicked of the Bible the devils that the Bible speaks of the antichrists because there's more than one it's a people not a person are being revealed right now and because of that you're gonna have a lot of spirits being roused up so much so that they're gonna come up against these Amalekites and Edomites and that's going to cause a lot of turbulence and that's going to bring in Jacob's trouble. So, hopefully this video was at a final game. Until the next time, I want to give all honor and glory and praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshai, Bashem, Rukhokwadash, Shalom.